Hi, I'm Glenn from Get Down Dirty Prospecting. Uh, at the moment, we're all in lockdown. Uh, all New South Wales is in lockdown. Um, I do have a video coming out probably in the next week or so, uh, and it's going to be called um, uh, uh, Rain, uh, Rain Forest Creek Dreaming with a Rocker and a Sluice. Something like that, anyway. It's not a bad video. Uh, but at the moment, um, I'm at. Uh, an old, what I'm sure would be river, an ancient river. You can see the wash. It's got quartz, everything in it. You know, there's uh, granite, granite quartz, everything in this wash. And um, the history of this place, the history of this place is um, they had a lot of sand mining here. And with the sand mining, uh, they were mining the Rutile uh, and then they were paying the wages in gold. So for this I'm just trying to work out where that gold actually came from. Did it come from a river section like this? Uh, this is National Park, I'm not going to touch it. Um, back over a kilometre over there, uh, well maybe probably two kilometres over there, I've done a house and it's got this same river wash on it and um, there is actually uh, they found some gold flakes when they were building it so um, who knows it's uh, it's here uh, that's volcano oh, lava there lava flow and this ancient river and I'm sure it's ancient river I'm sure it's not um, ocean floor uh, is uh, is volcanic and it just looks like a it's, it's really weird. And now if I was to test this spot, I'd be going down to the bottom where the lava is and the river washes over the top and I'd try and get right on the bottom of the lava. That would be the bottom of the river back there millions of years ago. And at the moment, I got the new t-shirt. It's already sold before I had a chance to get one myself. And uh, I think Secret Creek Prospecting in the US is the first one with this this t-shirt burning daylight alrighty we'll have a look now at the uh, lava and there's some quartz I want to show you um, right here you, when you look up there pan up there you can see the the lava flow coming up you can see the river wash running right through there right through there's lots of uh, the river wash on top of the lava and on this lava we've got quartz veins running all the way through big big quartz veins running through the lava so as I know when they were mining they were using the gold to pay the wages uh, for the sand mining so uh, we've got a, a bigger vein bigger vein just here in this quartz it gets quite thick so, couple inches thick here that they run all the way along it big stringers of quartz so uh, it doesn't look rusticly you know it doesn't look like it's got a lot of minerals in it but uh, it's certainly there and um, yeah there's the the river wash running all the way down and it is hard as nails I tell you it's not going to be broken up easy if you're going to do it and I've got no interest in doing it as I said it's National Park be good maybe in the water for someone to snipe maybe in the water down there might be good for a bit of a snipe you never know because that's all river wash here too and I've seen some large lumps of quartz in that beautiful alrighty I'll show you something special up the top Let's have, let's go check it out. Alrighty, um, here you can see the wash and um, it's right on top of the lava here. Now you can see the ups and downs in it, ups and downs. If I was ever going to work that, wouldn't that be the perfect little spot to chisel out and um, pan off? Because that would show you, look at the big, you know, the granite and oh look, there's everything in here. Uh, uh, that's why I'm sure it's it's not um, ocean 
I'm, I'm, I'm thinking for sure it's uh, river wash. But as I say, on top would be the early part of the river, uh, the very bottom of the river in this particular section. A little dip like that would be, now wouldn't that be a great little spot for it? Anyway, it's gonna stay like that. And we'll walk up to here and I'll show you something very special in this area. Follow me. Here, excuse the bag, is a very old, I'm sure, an Aboriginal midden. Where they would have sat here for um, hundreds of years collecting shell and eating it. I don't know how deep it goes, but they would have um, been eating shell here. It looks very, very old, very old midden. And I don't know, but in this crevice here, I found a couple of stones. And I don't know if they were always just stuck in the crevice, but they fit perfectly for the finger in um, very sharp opening up pippies and seashells. A couple of them, they were just in the crevice there. Look, I don't know if they belong or part of it, but they do fit perfectly and that sharp edge for just opening up some of these seashells. So, um, whoops, what I'll do is I'll put them back. Back where I found them. That's where they are. And this is the view of what they are looking at. All the way, beautiful. And, uh, and what a view they had too. I mean, I, I do get out here and um, just around there, see where the smoke is? Just down there, I get the kayak out and um, I get some really nice tuna and kingfish. I've even got a, a hammerhead shark on a, on a video and, um, and that's on um, the fishing cartel site. So if you want to go on YouTube and check out the fishing cartel, one of them's called uh, Giant Tuna Caught on a Kayak, and there's another one with a hammerhead, another one with a kingfish that I've, uh, that I've caught just out here. Not all about prospecting, but I'd love me prospecting. I'd like to say, uh, look, I really hope we're out of this COVID stuff. Um, it's bad enough with these permits we've got for prospecting these days, and COVID uh, even highlights that's even worse. We can't go anywhere. So hopefully we'll be out of that and we'll be getting back into doing a little bit and we'll get over this permit crap as well. Anyway, if you like this video, um, put a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, I'll always get back to you. And um, subscribe and look at the view. Happy days.